Watch her jump ship from YouTube to move their content behind a paywall. Now they're being criticized and regretting it. Who are these guys? Goodbye YouTube, they said. I'm not familiar with them. Um, I guess they do some sort of like sketches, uh, sketch comedy, but... Wow, I mean, sketch comedy that gets millions of views, that's pretty, it's pretty hard to pull off. Ooh, look at that dislike, though. Damn, people said no Holy shot. Shit. That's actually, wild. I'm looking, I'm, I don't know, I'm looking at their stuff. It actually doesn't look like sketches. I thought I heard sketches, oh. but it seems to, they do more uh, deep dives on stuff. These guys branched out after working at BuzzFeed. They oh, they're BuzzFeed do, guys? Yeah. They used to do BuzzFeed Unsolved. Yeah, they did Unsolved. Mm. They did, like, the, oh. tr the trying food, like... Let me get a temp check here. Expensive. I think for some people it makes sense to go, well, maybe not all pay. That's, right. that's pretty intense. Having a show behind paywall. There's so many sense. good um, formats that are like hybrid pay and right. free that people have utilized. Going full pay seems like pretty intense. But it looks like they post like once a week about some kind of true crime. Their views are good. Very good. Um... This is interesting. Let's see what they got to say about all this. Oh, it's muted. It's claimed at 59 seconds. Uh, zero to 59. Wait, this whole time I'm watching? The first minute, yeah. Are you muting it already? Is uh, it the music? It is, it's not muted, yeah. Okay, here, I'll just skip forward. I don't know what the fuck. Seeing they do a lot of spooky content too. It's the right thing to do. If this is my last time on YouTube, then baby. I don't want to get claimed. Let's fast forward. There you go. Believe. My name is Ryan Steven Bergara, and I'm part of Advanced Video Production. Hello, I'm Professor Morris Ashley. Welcome to another exciting episode of Extreme Science. I had no idea what to do for my intro. So they're doing. Please they're doing come. a lot. Doing like a. Uh, appeal to emotion they've been through so much it's time for the next chapter and everybody was like fuck you dude <laughs> damn that's and gotta feel bad and that's... they already had a patreon they what? did yeah mm -hmm. and what was the stat was it good was it powerful uh i don't know let me see if i could check but I, there's different tiers on that patreon as well i mean they're really popular it must have been pretty good so people are just seeing it as like a greedy thing yeah but people, our chat, a lot of people seem to be fans of them in our chat. So what did you guys think about all this? Well, what, uh, I, what's I'm, the ultimate rationale? I like, watched Unsolved for, for a super long time. Then they also did that, like, cheap to expensive food thing. Right. I watched them for a super long They make great content. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. like, go, like, investigate haunted places. Like, it's good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would pay for it. Oh, so they moved to this platform, WatcherTV.com. Get 30% off your first year. How much does it cost to watch these guys? So they have other... Sh Wait, is this all them or other shows too? Looks like it's all them. It's all them. It's all them. So they made their own website. Much. I've always wondered, like, how could how would this go, you know? Oh, if man. somebody just said, fuck YouTube. It's it tough just seems to like remove such, yourself from that ecosystem, you know? <laughs> such a risk. You need the funding of a casino to do it. Like, uh, kick. <laughs> true. Right. True. Yeah. But the truth is too that people are so used to getting free shit online, like yeah. to cross that barrier to sell content of all things, which is like uh, the freest thing, you know. I, I won't charge for content. I won't even well, other than members one, but I won't charge for like the live shows and stuff. I feel like the golden to rule to watch that. That's crazy. I don't know. I feel like the golden rule got to be you got to make extra content and not take away from the cheap content. Right. You can't just hit paywall half your content. You've got to make an extra show like we did. Bro, I feel like I that's fair. Dude, I hate when I'm watching a podcast and you're halfway through and they go, um, <laughs> yeah. thanks for listening. If you want to listen to the rest of our conversation, join us on Patreon. I'm like, man. Hell no. I never go for it. I, 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 I do. I am a patron of some people who I'm fans of. I do support them. And I think it's important to do that. But... On a personal level, I'm just always like, maybe it's maybe it's not wrong. People do what they got to do, but I'm always like, eh, I'm not going to Patreon. Yeah, it's too much extra steps. Yeah, it's not even the money. It's <laughs> I got to go to Patreon. I got to sign up. I got to do all this shit. It's a schlep. It's a schlep. It's a schlep over to Patreon. No, I, yeah. yeah, I have a, I have a decent. Like, I I think I have like four or five recurring Patreon 
uh, subscriptions to content creators I really like and wanted to support or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes even in the past, I've just signed up for like a month to do as a way of just doing like a one-time donation right. kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when they're like either like little indie filmmakers or animation makers or whatever because know how much work that is to put in. For sure, yeah. You know what I mean? And I, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like a nice way to tip. Um, but you're not wrong that asking people to go off the app or the website that they're currently on is always a big ask. It's a very daunting task to ask. <laughs> Which and, is crazy because it's like touching two buttons on your phone screen. Well, no, it's... Just dude, psychologically. It's the thought of like, I yeah. might have to get up and get my card. And then I got to type shit. Because yeah. on my phone, I hate typing things. It's a nightmare. Honestly, even when you have a subscription, I, I find myself forgetting about it. Like, I think I'm a member of Fear End. I, I used to watch it on their Patreon for a while. Mm -hmm. But I just forget that it's there all the time. Well, they probably right. love that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But it's still like, just having to change from YouTube. It's such a hassle. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever gone to Patreon to watch content. Like, I've become a Patreon because I want to support people. Right. But... All of their content is on YouTube. And I think I watch that's it the there. reality. Yeah, I, I like. Do they even? They have a player on. Like they have their own player on Patreon. I don't even know. I or is it just linked yeah. to like an unlisted YouTube video or something? I think yeah. they do, but it never seemed very good. They have a I player. Now, that's part of it too. Maybe they improved it. I don't know. Oh, here's their Patreon page. Let's see. Twelve thousand members. Thirteen thousand members. Oh, they're still double double dipping. That's weird. So they're double dipping. So the people on well, on, I imagine. I the people on Patreon must get the videos. Exactly. Right. The minimum is five. So that's at least like 60, 70,000 a month. I don't know what their videos are. Maybe their videos cost a lot of money, you know? Yeah, I, I'm seeing in chat people say they always want to make like TV quality. Yeah, that's expensive. Uh, yeah. That's very expensive. For and if, if there's like three owners. Yeah. Um, you know, money split three ways certainly doesn't go as far, that's for sure. I'm mm -hmm. curious, like, how do you gain new fans if you pay well everything? That's another thing. You've you got to keep it up. Yeah. You've got to keep posting, right? Yep. Like, clips at least. <laughs> but they try to. I've always wondered, like, would that work, you know? Um, curious what people think. It's real ironic to complain about the cost of video production in a video that was clearly overproduced. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting observation. I noticed that it was extremely produced. But that's their style, bro. Why are you watching if you don't like overproduced content? Um, you'll still occasionally see us on YouTube. We'll post trailers for our shows there. Oh, really? For us, the peasants? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, people are so entitled to free content. 